Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Tashrita Gupta, your tutor for SBR, FR and Diploma IFRS at WIFI. So you must be thinking, ma'am, this was supposed to be a class. So why such setup? Uh, okay, so I want to do it in a casual way because I don't want to stress you with so many lectures. You already have many things to cover, revision webinars, current issues, the crash courses and everything. Like you must be highly burdened and I totally get that. So let's have a chit chat session. Maybe this is a break time for you. And in this break time, we will quickly with examples, discuss one technical article and casually cover it. You will understand it and retain it for sure. So I will start this technical article by the title that is Accounting Ethics in Digital Age. Don't write anything anywhere. There's no need. I'm going to attach a PDF uh, down in the description box. Whatever I speak, the keywords, the key points of this uh, technical article will be shared with you. Okay. So you have to just listen to me. We are talking, we are dis discussing, right? Okay. So what happens in accounting is that we are getting the information for the transactions and we are recording it in the journal, ledger or books of entry. Then we summarize it in the financial statements and then we interpret it as well. And we are working in a public domain as an accountant because whosoever is trying to invest in the business. For example, if I'm working in a company and I'm working in the accounts of that a company. So based on the financials of that company, the people are going to invest in that business. So don't you think that my job as an accountant is very important and crucial because people are trusting what I'm producing. I'm producing financial statements. People are betting their money based on those financial statements. So I am supposed to follow a lot of rigorous ethics. I cannot be uh, biased. I cannot be compromising on my truthfulness. I cannot be compromising on my objectivity, right? So that's what ethics play uh, as a role in the accountant's life. But now in this article, they're actually, you can say they are actually merging two things. That is number one, your technology, digital age and ethics. So ethics and accountant works well with us. How are they bringing this technology in between? That's the point. So I'll give you one example, quick example. So a few days ago, I was uh, just applying somewhere uh, for my friend and the counselor said to apply to the university, you have to actually make a payment uh, in foreign currency. So they said we are making it through our portal. So please send your card details over the email ID. Now that counselor, you must be thinking, ma'am, that's fraud, of course. But that counselor was known to us like family type of thing. But still, they asked for the card details. and. I would say that counselor was old. I know them since childhood. So I would say they were old. So they don't know that what exactly is the consequence of getting the card details over the email ID, right? So they don't know that. But intentionally or unintentionally, they are risking the very important data for of a customer that is their finance, their bank details, their card details. So what they should have done even if they wanted the card details they could have given a proper protocol that if you want to send the card details make a word file of it protect it with a password and send it over and then delete that email asap right but they never said so so of course we didn't for your disclaimer we didn't share the card details but i'm just saying that that's how the things are people who are good at their job well and good he's he or she was good in the counseling that they are applying to universities and sending people abroad. But they were not equally good at knowing the technology. They were not aware of the threats of technology. Maybe they were unaware because of the generation gap or whatever, but they were not aware. So what are they doing? Intentionally or unintentionally breaching the ethics, not following their ethical principles. The data of the customer is the duty of any person who's getting that data to actually protect data protection. Every country is working on data protection. Countries are fighting over data protection. And of course, accountant 
what is an, even an accountant in front of countries? Accountant has access to sensitive data. So I'll give you one more example. Uh, I, I, as I've said that I've worked for UK SME clients. So whenever I'm teaching in my laptop, I have many uh, invoices of my clients from uh, the small and medium sized entities in UK. When I was teaching audit few, you know, years ago, so one of the students said, because, you know, there we have sales system, purchase system, that ma'am, can you show us any invoice, like how VAT is given there since you work in with UK SME clients, you must be having one of them. So it was very easy for me to show that invoice. But, you know, that client has interested me with his data. He has given his company number, the way he invoices his customer, the prices he charge, right? And that is very confidential. He's given me his bank statement. So I can't be just for the sake of teaching. I can't be breaching it, right? So that's what ethics of an accountant are in the digital age. Because digitally today, I got his invoice. Because practically what happened was back then, when there was no technology, we used to get invoices in hard file. Uh, we used to tag the invoices, photo state them or whatever. Then we used to post them on the hard journals like there were books of journals then record them in ledgers then prepare the financial statements everything was done manually ticking that tick of a ca chartered accountant so my father used to do that and i know how it was but the point is today everything is digitalized everyone has access to many things just with a tap right so that is what is risky so if such risks are there because of technology so now we have to curtail them as an accountant. We have to recognize our responsibility that I have to protect the data of my customer, not just the customer because I'm a consultant to them or they are, you know, getting services from me. But also if I am an employee and internally, if there is a breach of data or externally, there is a breach of data, I should be responsible enough to publicly say so. Because as an accountant, we work in public interest. Like doctors, they pledge that we are going to save lives. So similarly, the accountants have to pledge that they are going to work in public interest. So do you understand this thing now that as an accountant, it's very important that we, you know, understand technology because if we don't understand the process, if we don't know how things are, how can we control it? Like if you don't know how financial statements are prepared, how can you audit them? Similarly, if you don't know how to, uh, how maybe a technology works, a uh, digital ledger technology works or blockchain works or uh, AI works. Like if you know the basics of it, well and good. If you don't know it, then how will you know the risks attached to it? Like that counselor didn't know how emails work. What What is basically the risks involved with emails? They can be hacked, right? It goes, the data is stored somewhere. Someone can access to it. The card number can be misused. So, they don't know the technology, so they don't know the control. If they don't know the control unintentionally also, they can, you know, make someone suffer. So that's what accountants have to follow, ethical, uh, you can say, principles. And for that, they should have technology knowledge. So I'll talk about one more example. Like in India, if we have to register our land, physically you go to a place, take the papers, ownership papers, and you know get yourself registered. And then if you have to make changes again, you have to physically visit, get your uh, papers in hard file, and then they will send it to the headquarters. So I think mo in most of the developing countries, that's how the system is still. Now it is improving with time, with technology. But if I compare it with UK, in UK, what we have is land registry system is done on DLT, that is distributed ledger technology, where basically what happens is that, uh, you know, you can actually access every change which is made to the technology or which is made to the data. For example, if I had a flat, okay, and I made a change to the ownership of that flat, I made a change on online, got all the protocols done. And then that change will be reflected to all the people with that 
data access in the department in the government sector it will go to all people so everyone will be looking at it so there is no potential that anyone can manipulate that data because everyone has equal access to it like in the government everyone has equal access to it so no corruption can be there and if something is changed no need to manually communicate it to the headquarters everyone is at same level and they will access the change so this is what dlt distributed because the control is distributed ledger technology so everyone can see the change and review it so that is done in uk right so this is within your technical article only i'm not telling it just for the sake of it so this is within your technical article you can use it as an example then uh, because of dlt same way blockchain technology is there which is used for cryptocurrencies right and you need not know the details of what it is just know that okay for the sake uh, for example in your september december 2020 question paper there is one question on carbc company where they talk about distributed ledger system and they say that because the accountant had a self interest threat he wanted to continue to work with carbc so he breached the data some sort of such discussion is there so there what we are supposed to mention not about what distributed ledger technology is but about the ethics so we will talk about because there is self interest he is uh, you know breaching what all ethical principles out of pi corp that is what is pi corp professional behavior integrity confidentiality objectivity and professional competence and due care right so major ethical principles which play role in technology is competence and due care because that is part of your competence do you know technology or not today accountant also wants and should know the technology it's not just a, a programmer or someone but everyone should know basics of technology if they want to work in digital age right so professional competence and due care you have to take care of things uh, and then secondly the confidentiality objectivity because if there is any bias in the system you have to remove that as well so this is what is actually the brief of your technical article right so if uh, as the scenario is there that this is digital age and there are ethical threats to the accountant intentionally or unintentionally because of the data regulations and the protection of data so what all considerations should accountant do so whenever he is making a decision number 1 he should consider the nature of decision he shouldn't be just like if someone asked for the data of the customer he be like okay take it you can do whatever you want to do he shouldn't be like that okay number 1 he should consider the nature of the decision he is taking he should be responsible number 2 if he has considered the nature of the decision now he should think what all interests rights are vested in that decision who all is affected by that decision he should take all the decisions con uh, consciously right and he should be considering who all are invested into that thirdly he should consider if there will be any negative consequences of the decision that he is taking he might be sharing some data he might be doing uh, giving access to uh, some platform to someone to get it repaired maintained or whatever so he should consider will there be any negative consequences of it then he should if there is an ethical threat he should take the safeguards okay and he should make sure that those safeguards are reducing the, those ethical threats to a considerably low level so i will be attaching these few points in the ppt and uh, that you can find as a link in the description box so this is what is there in this cute little technical article that is accounting ethics in digital age so it's very relevant for your exam it can be asked in question number 3 you can check out your september december 2022 question uh, it was not at all difficult very easy you can easily do it so don't worry i hope with this discussion you have understood some things about this technical article so that's it for today and now day after tomorrow i'm going to put up the next video on the next article that is very very important please do attend that one that is the reclassification of profit i highly predict it for your attempt and plus if you don't like this way of discussion we can also do it on board um honestly i would prefer to do it on board the second one because that is a little bit uh, technical 
so i would prefer writing on board in that one so i hope you like this way of discussion of a theoretical technical article if you did please do comment down and do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching and all the best for your preparation see you in the next one